My name is Daniel Warren Johnson. I've made books like Murder Falcon, Do a Power Bomb, Transformers, Space Mullet, Extremity, oh my god, and you're watching Comics Online. back at San Diego Comic-Con 2024 with Comics Online's continuing coverage, uh, this time with Daniel Warren Johnson, the, the star of Skybound. Let's, let's just, just put that on Front Street. You know, you might think it's Robert Kirkman. It's this guy now. It's this guy, and uh, he, he, he took over Transformers number one. You drew the first six issues. You might think, didn't it look a little bit like uh, Murder Falcon? Same guy. Same guy. Um, this is the guy who, who is, uh, who's been described as he can't draw a straight line, drawing a bunch of robots. I never knew before, uh, be, before reading his Transformers, what I wanted was a Transformers comic or television show that look like Murder Falcon. Daniel, welcome to the show. Thank you so much for having me. <laughs> now that I've given you all the, all the props, tell us more, where, where are we at with the, uh, in, in the current time with Transformers story-wise? Well, uh, you mean like in like where this, what time the, time the story takes place or where we kind of are now, like the status quo? Plot-wise. So plot-wise, um, we've kind of moved past that first six issues that I've been writing and drawing. Jorge Corona has taken over on art duties from issue seven on. He's doing a stellar job. Um, you know, I don't know how much people have read, but I think it's fair to say uh, Optimus still has the Megatron arm. And <laughs> Uh, things are not going well for the Autobots still. They can't really catch a break. And, uh, you know, we, we just introduced this concept of, like, the murder vacuum, where a bunch of, like, whales and, like, octopus and, like, plant life in the ocean have been swallowed up to uh, further the uh, evil, evil concoctions of Shockwave. My dogs think I own a murder vacuum, so I can understand a little bit. And that is the craziest thing that I've ever heard of. Was this you who came up with the murder vacuum, or was this an editorial choice? Oh, I came up with this. <laughs> murder vacuum was the working title. I honestly can't remember what we actually call it. But when you see it, you can be like, that's the murder vacuum. So, uh, so Transformers, the... The pre-G.I. Joe titles yep. and Void Rivals were, uh, kicked off the, the, the Energon universe here last year, this time last year, and, uh, and, and now we're, you know, what, 13 issues or so into, into Void Rivals. Um, how much is, uh, is your Transformers book going to, going to cross over into everything else? So, I like to think of um, the sprinkling of G.I. Joe and, and Energon Universe stuff as like, you know, paprika. <laughs> like if you put a little bit of paprika on like an already very established dish, it's just a little bit of an extra depth and spice. It gives people a tiny slice, a tiny window into a different, not world, but a different like avenue that's in the same world. So, uh, and that's kind of how we're treating it. It's very organic. We really, Robert Kirkman has said many times to me and to the world, um, he wants people to be able to appreciate Transformers on its own and not feel like they have to dip their toes financially or time-wise into other books if they desire not to. That being said, you know, we still have these little little spices that will hopefully tickle the interest of people and um, just be additive and be exciting and just kind of hint at the world at large that people can, the possibilities are endless. One might say that we're Hungarian for more of your Transformers. I'm sorry, it's just terrible. This is terrible. This is not journalism. Who does this? Um, anyway, uh, all right, so we, we've got through the Transformers part. Uh, uh, 
obviously this is your main thing. Do you have anything else going? Yeah. So um, <laughs> back in the day when I was first starting to try and get people to notice my comics, uh, I was working on a webcomic called Space Mullet. It was like a sci-fi trucker tale with a guy with a mullet, believe it or not. Uh, mullets are really fun to draw. Uh, and uh, that got published by Dark Horse way back in like 2016. So we, and it's been out of print for a few years now. So we're republishing it. There's an extra chapter. It's out with Image Comics now. It's 20 bucks. You can get it anywhere. That's really fun. So that's one thing. Uh, but after Transformers, the main thing right now is um, I am writing and drawing about 20% of a book called The Moon is Following Us. Uh, I'm writing, oh sorry, it's, it's being drawn mostly like 80% by Riley Rossmo. He's worked on a bunch of DC stuff. He worked on a bunch of image stuff before that, like Proof, Cowboy Ninja Viking. He's like a legend and he's like, the, he's like an artist artist, you know, he's amazing. Uh, he's also a very close friend. We've been talking about working on a book together for so long. Finally, he had some time in his schedule to make this happen. It's a 10 issue series and every time the arts, every time the worlds change in this fantastical story, we're trading art duties. Gosh. All right. So what? So, so what are you reading? Now, there's a ton of image books. There's a ton of other books. Uh, what are you reading that you're loving right now? Oh man. Oh, you're putting me on the spot. Okay. 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 But like okay. most recent. Yeah. 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 So I'm reading this uh, one book. I, I I really dig it. Uh, Dawn Runner. Have you been checking that out? It sounds familiar. So uh, I I can't remember the publisher, but it's kind of like a little bit Pacific Rimmy, you know. But with the art style, is like fantastic. I think Ram V is writing it. Oh yeah, Ravi. Yeah, yeah. I just, I, I, I just interviewed him right before this. <laughs> okay, he's great. And I'm so sorry to the artist. The art is like incredible, and I can't remember the artist's name right now. But I'm really enjoying the series. It's so fantastic. Let's see what else. That's a dark horse one, I think. Is it dark horse? That's what he told me. Yeah, you're, you're, <laughs> you're right. Uh, oh, and I'm reading the uh, new Punisher Max book by Garth Ennis. Uh, There's a new one by Ennis again? Yes, yes, there is. It's a Punisher Sergeant Fury one. I don't remember. I don't even remember the title. What? Yeah. All right, I'm gonna have to read this now. I, I, I love the Gar Garth Ennis. Well, he can do no wrong, as far as I'm concerned. I will never write like Garth Ennis because it's like so mean. <laughs> That's not a critique, but uh, I w it's just really intense. But I'll read that all day. And then last but not least is a book by Taiyo Matsumoto. It's a manga. It's called Tokyo These Days. It's about a retiring manga editor in Japan who is um, he's really discouraged with the state of manga. And so he sinks all of his life savings into doing one last manga magazine. And he goes to all these like burnt out, old, near retirement, like canceled manga artists like just total like ragtag group to try and do a last ditch manga like you know manga magazine that really matters it's so cool <laughs> but getting the band back together yes that's it's it's like uh, manga getting the band back together you got it nice well hey thank you so much daniel uh we look forward to more transformers and really everything you do thank you thank you so much for the support oh, amazing it's great to be here thanks so much for interviewing me